Hey guys, Jace here, and today I have the tutorial on what most of you guys wanted. Um, it's the wave effect, like where you where you have your gunking outline, and your sniper trans like goes from a wave effect to a sniper. Then you just shoot and you kill someone. So, how to do that? First off, you will need to know how to do a gunking outline, of course. Um, Luke had this as his tutorial. I uploaded it. I think yesterday, and uh, um, uh, you have to know how to do that, so go check that video out, I'll link that in the description. And second of all, you will need trap code form. Um, if you don't have this, I will put a link in the description of how to get it for free, because you don't want to pay for it, of course. So, let's get started. Um, once you get, once you put this on your Gun King outline thingy, you will get this. It's like a little transparent box. So what you do is you go to base form. You change this, the X and Y, to whatever settings you have here. So mine's 1280 by 720. So I'll put the X as 1280 for the width. And the size will be, I mean the Y size would be 720. Because that's my height. It's basic math. Um, if you have like... 1080p quality it probably will be 1410 by 1080 I'm not sure don't use that so you'll just put your size X as 10 1410 and your Y would be 1080 Um, if it's like 360 I think it's for I mean 460 by 360 um, I don't even know but yeah that's what you do there so for your size Z what you do is you put it down to zero because we don't need a Z and particles in Z we put that down to one because we only need, only need one layer and we don't need it to be 3D alright and next thing you'll need to go is in layer maps um, you go to layer mass intervention or I mean whatever comp your thing is in I pre-composed it otherwise it would have been in here so I just selected my pre-comp um, layer, and then what you do after that? Uh, did it close? Oh no! Uh, so once you do after that, is go to color and alpha, change the functionality to RGBA to RGBA. It was RGB to RGB, but now it's RGBA to RGB GBA. I think it's because it's red, green, blue, alpha to red, green, blue, and alpha alpha channel because you use your gunking outline and so you have like on top of that that's what I'm guessing and your map over will be X and Y don't know that's just how it is so what you do after that is you go to alright yeah so what you do after that is you see nothing your screen is blank and you change your particles in X to 1000 ooh 1000 and you will start, yeah, there's your sniper. So what we did basically is we got everything and made it so you, your thing will show up. Um, let me see if I change the, uh, see what happens then. Okay, so you got your answer. If it, you change it to RGB, you'll get that background. So just leave it at that. Alright, so how to do that effect? You go to practical and field. You just go down to where is it? Displace, and you just change that to like a uh, whatever number. And let me render it because I'm on a shit computer. Oh my god, if you can't even see it, wow, well, that's alright. So, is this still pre-rendering? That is bad. Alright, well, I'm just gonna like save it and say it. Um, it's just like a wave effect. The higher you go, the more waves or foreign particles you have. So, what I would recommend is just put it at zero first. And you'll get that. And then go to the part where you have your sniper just about to like scope in so what I did that uh, so I went like right 
like right before there. You can you guys take your time. I'm just gonna make this quick and fast. That's what she said. Haha. -ha. Alright, um then keyframe that. It should be at zero, so you go to your first frame. And I would recommend making this like 750, 650. You basically must run with that. Oh shit. Alright, and it'll be that. I'm just gonna make it 650, just because I like that number. Just kidding, I don't. Okay. So once you got that, it'll become like that. So once you pre render it, it'll just go a bunch of frames. It won't even sync up yet. Mm. Yeah. So that's how to do that effect. Once you get advanced with this effect, um, you can go to Audio React and uh, import an audio clip or audio file. Like what I did, I just got an audio file like that. Uh, make sure it has a good beat to it too. And what you do is go to Audio Layer, select that audio clip, and then map to practical because that's where our dispensal is and uh, that's basically what it'll do and what it does it's, it's basically every time there's an upbeat in the clip your thing will like sync up to it if you saw my After Effects 18 it did that pretty cool right alright and the uh, rest of the settings is basically I guess just messing around with Oh, and um, where is uh, fractal field? Nope. Hmm. There's one thing I wanted to show you right before about uh, particles. So, um, if you change this to like different things, like let's say smoke lit, it'll be a different particle type. So, like that. By the way, I would not recommend you to do this like like two gigabyte laptop like I'm doing because it takes forever to pre-render or just render for that matter. Um, it'll just become like different. I don't know what DOF D O F means, but I guess you can just like mess around with these settings. But yeah, so uh, I'm guessing you guys learned something from this. If you didn't, just comment below and I'll try to answer everybody's question. So yeah, this has been Jay's. Um, thanks again. Please like the video, comment. It always helps and makes me want to edit more. So, see you guys. Thanks for watching.